Hello everyone, today we learn a new topic about conductors and insulator. So the bulb will light up when the switch is closed because the electric currents flow in a complete circuit. What happens to the bulb if the switch is replaced with other objects or materials? Let's investigate. If you have these apparatus and materials, you can do this one at your home with your parents. Firstly, you must have the bulb, dry cell, connecting wires, rubber, paper clip, metal spoon, handkerchief, straw, ice cream stick, coin, and glass room. Alright, this is the step how to build a circuit here. How to build a circuit. You must have the first one is your bulb and also your connecting wires and also your dry cell. And all of the object, for example, this one is metal spoon. We will test here. If the bulb is light up, okay, if the bulb is light up, mean this one is conductor. If the bulb is not light up or does not light up means that this one is insulator. Okay. So record your observation in the table show below. Alright, we have eight object here. You will test rubber, paper clip, straw, glass root, metal spoon, ice cream stick, handkerchief, and coin. We already uh, already uh, do for metal spoon here. If we test the metal spoon. The bulb will light up, so I mean this one is conductor, right? This one is conductor. But if we test rubber here, okay, if we test rubber, okay, rubber, the bulb will not does not light up, okay, does not light up. So this one we call insulator, okay, insulator, okay. Next, if we test the paper clip here, paper clip, okay, this one is your paper clip. If we test the paper clip. Okay, if we test the paper clip, the bulb will light up. Okay, the bulb will light up. So this one will be conductor. Okay, this one will be conductor. Okay, if we test, if we test the straw here, if we test the straw here, the bulb does not light up. Okay, does not light up. I mean, this one is insulator. Okay, insulator. Alright, if we test the glass root, okay, if we test the glass root, okay, the bulb does not light up, okay, the bulb does not light up, so this one means that this one is insulator, okay, metal spoon already, ice cream stick, if we test the ice cream, ice cream sticks, okay, the bulb also does not light up, okay, does not light up, so I means this one is insulator. Okay, if we test the handkerchief here, the bulb also does not light up. And lastly, if we test the coin, the bulb light up. Okay, means this one is conductor, right? So the full result here like this one. Okay, the bulb for test for rubber, rubber does not light up. Test for paper clip, right, light up. Test for straw, does not light up. All right. So, look here. I am a paper clip. I'm allow electric currents to flow through me because I am conductor. Okay. I am a paper clip. I allow electric currents to flow through me because I am conductor. A conductor is a materials that allow electric current to flow through it. Okay. A conductor is a materials that allows electric current to flow through it means maksud dia uh, conductor ini sebarang bahan yang membenarkan arus elektrik yang melaluinya itu dalam bahasa Melayunya okay secondly I am a rubber okay I am a rubber I I don't allow electric current to flow through me because I am in an insulator okay because I am an insulator an insulator is a material does not allow electric current to flow through it. Okay, an insulator material does not allow electric current to flow through it. So, dalam bahasa Melayu maksudnya insulator ataupun penebat bahan yang tidak membenarkan arus elektrik melaluinya. Okay, bahan yang tidak membenarkan arus elektrik melaluinya. Alright. So step two other example conductor and insulator. Okay, two other example conductor and insulator. The first conductor is 
metal spoon insulator for example is straw so just remember just remember any materials that allow electric current to flow through it okay we call this one conductor for example paper clip or metal spoon insulator materials that does not allow electric current to flow it does not okay this one is a low electric current this one it does not allow electric current so example of insulate the example of insulator for uh, this one for example straw and also example straw and also handkerchief ice cream stick also insulator all right so let's do some revision all right some revision about electricity topics so the first one electrical component all right electrical component what is electrical component all right the firstly firstly is dry cell okay dry cell bulb and switch all right dry cell bulb and switch okay number two function of electrical component okay the function of electrical component for example dry cell here a dry cell to supply electrical energy okay to supply electrical energy bulb to produce light this one is bulb to produce light switch to complete and break this electric circuit all right so means that the function of switch to complete and break the electrical circuit a bulb a switch a dry cell a connecting wire are used to form complete circuit all right connecting wire this one is your connecting wire okay complete and incomplete circuit okay this is the example this one is complete circuit okay we have close close switch and also the bulb will be light up however if the circuit incomplete so the with the bulb will not light up because the there is open switch over here all right so number five the bulb does not light up because okay, this is the reason okay this one is the reason why the bulb does not light up firstly the bulb is damaged okay the bulb is damaged ataupun bulb itu rosak Number two, the dry cell is out of energy. The dry cell out of energy. Maksudnya, uh, itu battery dia kehabisan tenaga. Okay. Number three, the bulb is not fastened properly onto the bulb holder. Ini maksud dia bulb itu tidak dipasang dengan betul dalam dia punya itu pemegang bulb. Number four, the wire is con not connected correctly to the electrical component. Okay, the wire is not connected correctly to electrical component means banyak wire itu tidak dipasang dengan betul and last one the switch is open okay the switch is open maksudnya switch itu dibuka okay a conductor a conductor is an object to allow electrical concurrence to flow through it example of conductor metal spoon nails and coin just remember conductors mean that any object that allow electrical current to flow it this one we call conductor example of conductor is metal spoon nails and coins and lastly so for the sorry for the last one is uh, an insulator is an object does not allow electrical currents to flow through it for example insulator are called rubber and plastic just remember insulator and insulator uh, that is it uh, is an object that does not allow electrical current to flow it example is rubber plastic and glue so that's all for today i hope you understand for the lesson thank you very much